Hello everyone, today we are going to show um, the special feature of the Century Non-Latex Dental Dam. The Century Non-Latex Dental Dam has been developed with the use of isolation in mind, meaning that a lot of um, poorer quality dental dams tend to rip once the hole is punched. However, because of the formulation that we are using, the Century Non-Latex Dental Dam has a very low modulus as you can see and the reason for this is because we need to make sure that whenever a hole is punched it can easily stretch to the desired expansion now you can see that I've just punched a small hole and this is the extent that the hole is able to stretch now why is this important? it is very important because when we put the clamp onto the dental dams, it will not read. So it's very good for easy placement of the rubber dam. And therefore, we are going to put this onto the, the model. Okay? okay? As you can see, we have one piece of um, prefix rubber dam with the clamps. And why is the ripping, uh, anti ripping? Uh, feature very important is because when we place it in between the teeth while having to place it in between the teeth we are bound to be adjusting our position and we are bound to be slitting the rubber dam in between the teeth to have a good placement now with the century rubber dam you can be assured that the good tear resistance tear tolerance qualities will be able to make sure that it's easily placed and you do not have any holes that rips that interferes with the isolation process. Okay, <clears throat> now we are going to put the sanctuary non-latex that will then do an extreme test. What I'm going to do now is to punch three holes with very close proximity to one another. Okay, so what we are going to do now to show you how good the tear resistance is, we are going to stretch it and I'm going to use my fingers to push it up to show you how resilient this product is. This feature is very important, especially when we are doing the anterior. 